The Mad Adventures Society presents This is GM Word of the Week, and I'm Fiddleback. Dungeon Help me! Please help me! I am a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. Princess Zelda, using the word dungeon correctly for the first and last time in the entire Zelda series. The word dungeon is a twisting of the word dungeon. Dungeon is derived from the Latin word dominus, meaning master or lord. It referred to the central tower of a keep or a castle where the lord of the castle lived. In England, the word dungeon came to refer to cells or prisons built underneath a castle. This was actually a very uncommon practice until the 12th or 13th century. Imprisonment was rarely used as a punishment, so dungeons would only be useful for political prisoners. Such prisoners were usually noble and were housed in the castle's apartments. Some archaeologists have pointed out that some of the rooms we thought were dungeons were actually vaults used to store castle valuables. They point to evidence such as the lack of latrines. Around the time of the Renaissance, dungeons also became associated with torture chambers. Some scholars have suggested that this association of the word dungeon with prisoners and torture chambers arose from Gothic novels of the 19th century. Dungeons in the novels were routinely used by villains and tyrants and hidden beneath medieval castles or churches. The point is, a dungeon is not just any old underground structure. Both dungeons and dungeons were built for very specific purposes. A dungeon was well appointed and built to withstand attack to protect rulers and their valuables. A dungeon was built to keep prisoners from escaping and, occasionally perhaps, to torture them. They weren't just interconnected rooms filled with monsters. That affects the mood and the tone of the place. So, when you create your underground complexes filled with monsters, consider the original purpose of the complex. That should help bring it to life. In fact, don't call it a dungeon at all. Call it an oubliette, a vault, a shrine, a temple, a crypt, a catacomb, a labyrinth, a sanctuary, a fane, an undercroft, an ossuary, a tomb, a complex, a city, a refuge, a redoubt, a cellar, a cistern, a bunker, a gallery, a lair, a sewer, a maze, a sepulchre, a fortress, a settlement, a gateway, a library, a repository, a pit, a treasury, an archive, an underbuilding, or a gallery. Feel free to add the word underground to any of those, just to be clear. This has been the GM Word of the Week. It's written by the Angry GM and produced and recorded by me, Fiddleback. You can find more at madadventures.com and theangrygm.com.